This is uh, wound care, this general wound care. This first we're going to do uh, controlling bleeding and providing universal precautions. Uh, right now she has a forearm injury. Uh, she has a cut here on her forearm. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do while I'm getting um, prepared is I'm going to give her a piece of uh, gauze uh, just to apply to the wound, just to apply the direct, direct pressure while I apply my gloves. Um, again, these come in various sizes. So you want to make sure that uh, you are wearing gloves anytime you have uh, any type of body fluids, especially blood. But these come in small, mediums, and large, and uh, various sizes. Uh, these are latex. There's also uh, or non-latex types. Uh, Latex-free if people are allergic uh, to latex. Uh, once we have that, uh, we also want to make sure that we have some gauze, uh, some other additional gauze, and some wraps uh, to control the bleeding. Um, first thing that we want to do for uh, the wound care is just to apply the direct pressure, okay? As Barb Bar was doing earlier. Uh, if it still continues to, to bleed, uh, we never want to take off the first layers. Uh, and we can always ask the, the patient to hold that while we're getting, uh, so she's, while she's applying pressure, I can get my sterile gauze here. We never want to take off the first layer. We always want to add layers to that. If it's still bleeding, again, we can add uh, more layers to the top and apply direct pressure. If that still is not working, with the direct pressure, we can elevate the body part. If it's still not working, um, uh, we can uh, apply a, a pressure point. Uh, here in the arm, it's uh, in your brachial artery. Another thing that we can do is uh, we can apply a, a presser, pressure bandage. And I'm going to have, again, I'm going to have Barb hold this. And there's a couple different methods techniques that you can use for this. Um, you can either use a, a gauze roll, um, a triangular bandage. Uh, I'll show you this real quick. So this is going to be applying the pressure. So I'm going to wrap this around and again talk to her to make sure that it's uh, you know, tight enough but not too tight. And I always want to tie this uh, on the top where the wound is, okay? So I'm using a, a triangular bandage to apply the, the pressure bandage, okay? Uh, and then I'll, likewise I can elevate it and uh, use the pressure point. Uh, the other technique that I can use if I don't have the triangular bandage is going to be the gauze roll, which is similar. So again, keeping the pressure on there uh, while she holds that with the gauze roll. Again, making sure that the, the roll is on top. Um, when I apply this, again, it needs to be tight enough to hold the initial gauze there. And I'm just going to roll it around um, the body area. Covering the top to bottom. Again, talking to her to make sure it's not too tight or too loose. And then with this gauze, when you get pretty close to the end, maybe th uh, two or three feet, uh, which one do? You always want to make sure that you tie it on the top and with this gauze roll, if you just come up here on one side a little bit and then with about two-thirds of it uh, going back in the opposite direction you go to the other side of the arm you can tie your knot and the knot again will go over over the wound to apply direct pressure again you, you want to check to make sure uh, uh, that it's uh, secure enough it's not sliding um, uh, the last, and again, uh, if you still needed to elevate it and do your pressure point, you can do that. Uh, you also want to make sure 
at the end, you always want to check, check uh, distal pulse circulation for a capillary refill. If you push down on the nail bed and release, they should have um, blood circulation and, and a feeling. Uh, you can also make sure that they have, um, uh, if, they, if they need to go see a doctor, refer them to a doctor or the emergency room if they need to get further stitch stitches or evaluated. Uh, after you're finished with that, uh, you also want, uh, and you're done with your gloves, your, uh, if you have any you know, bloody uh, gloves and everything, you always want to uh, you know, collect those in, in one hand. And then you can pull these backwards. You never want to touch the, the uh, outsides of the glove, but inside the gloves it's, it's safe. Um, so if I come down, so, and I'm rolling one glove inside the other. And then once I have those disposed, I always want to dispose of those in a uh, biohazard container. Last thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I wash my hands really good uh, with soap and water. Um, uh, or you can use uh, other soap um, products. Again, a lot of these are you know, dry instantly, but again, you just make sure that you wash and clean your hands. That smells good. Thoroughly. Uh, also, if you had any cuts on yourself before you treated them, you want to make sure that those are covered before you put your uh, gloves on. Okay, and that is it.